This is a quick demonstration of our team stenography project. As you can see, we have our project file open and all the files are in the MATLAB directory. Now we want to open the main function file, which is the skylight GUI.m. And now we'll run this code. By running it, our main program appears and it's GUI. The program asks us what we would like to do first. <coughs> And first, we would like to embed an image, but you have to have something to embed the image into. So we'll load a normal image. And for this demonstration, we'll use a photo of a dog. Now you can choose one of the secret images to embed. Let's use the first hidden image. And we'll use the first embedding method of the odd even red. We click embed, and now we can see the image that will be embedded into this dog image. And in this program, you can embed multiple images at once, up to 10. So we'll now select the second hidden image, and we'll use the odd even blue method. We'll embed it. And now we'll save it into a final image. The program tells us that the Final, the final image is named hiddenimage.tiff. So now we want to recover the images. We'll have to load the image that has the embedded images in it. We'll open it. Then, if you recall, our first method was the odd even red. So we'll select that and we'll click recover. And here we are. Here is the recovered image that we hid in it earlier. And the second method we used was the odd even green. We'll just simply click recover, and here it is. And so you can do this for up to 10 images. And that's essentially how our program works. Hello, my name is Jordan Caress, and I worked on the embedding and recovery methods. Um, I made nine of them specifically that work outside of the odd even uh, recovery methods. My methods work by adding or subtracting decimals uh, from the original dog array. And by adding and subtracting, we can actually store the black and white image in the dog array. We can still store multiple of them because we hide them in different channels. When you add the decimal, it stays there. Or, or subtract, you, you have a value that's like 0.5, and once it's there, you can save the image as a TIFF and then reopen it and read it, and those decimal values will still be there. And if you have like a 0.5, you can take that value and have it be worth uh, one like white pixel. Or if, it's, if there's no 0.5 and it's just a zero, then it's worth uh, black. And you can do this on different levels. You can do it from the tenths place, the hundredths place, the thousandths place, and they don't interfere with each other. And that's why we can run it nine different times using just different decimal values and be able to store 10 different images in just the one dog image. So I'm Susanna, and I worked on designing the. Okay, I'm Susanna, and I worked on design, designing the GUI. So um, basically, this is the layout of the GUI. First, um, it asks you to what would you like to do, either embed or recover. Once you select either of these options, um, a panel pops out with the different options that you can select to either embed or recover. Um, first, you have to load the image. Then you select the image you want to um, embed the embed method, click embed, and then save it. And um, you can select multiple images at once or just one at a time. And the images will show up here, wh where your normal image shows up in the main axis. And then once you want to recover, you select recover, this panel pops out. Um, you load your embedded image, select the recovery method, and recover. That's basically how it works. I'm Stanley. Uh, my main contribution to this project was doing the report and editing this video. In addition, I also worked on the 
um, odd even embedding and recovery parts where you take the image and uh, depending if it's a light or dark pixel, it translates to zeros and ones and then you can embed it into um, the channels of your choice into red, green, or blue and from that you can recover it based on whether it was odd or even. 